Hey guys and welcome to my channel. There is not a long drawn out intro like there normally is you guys so I hope you don't miss that but today I'll be doing five different dollar store DIYs. Most of this is Dollar Tree and I do have one thing that did come from Dollar General so that is why I am calling it a dollar store DIY. This is all farmhouse decor. Super simple and easy to do so let's just jump right in you guys. The first one I'm actually using is something I picked up at Goodwill. It was $2.09 for this frame. I love the way it looks and I knew that I could just reuse it without having to really tear it apart or paint it. I did just tear the galvanized items off of this and I am keeping them just in case I decide to do something else. Uh, but yeah, that was all I did right here. And next I just took this home sign from Dollar Tree. This is pretty new, so I'm pretty sure you could pick this up. They also had words that said family and love and other words like that, but I just broke these apart. I actually seen April from April Adair Shares use these letters and I didn't even know they came apart this easy. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna rip these apart because that is like such a clever idea. There was some staples in here or like some little nails so I did kind of pull those out or rip those out with some tweezers or I can't even think what these are called. It doesn't matter what they're called. It, I, I'm using these. You guys know what they are. I know what they are but right now I can't think of the name but we're good. I'm using these three different grays. There's silver gray and a, I can't, Payne's gray I think is what it's called from Arteza. And I'm just going to be doing a galvanized look to these. I didn't prime them, nothing like that because I'm just going to keep going over it with the gray. I started with the gray and then I went with the darker and then I went with the silver. I always recommend to do this silver on the top. This is actually the first like galvanized type thing I have done in a really, really long time. So I kind of forgot how to do it, but we're just kind of winging it. Like I said, I went with the gray and then the dark gray and then the silver. And I think if you just use silver for the top, it doesn't matter which way it goes. But here we are. This is what I'm doing for the H and the M and the E. Oh, I'm just using this wreath. I actually ripped this off of a home sign I picked up at Walmart on the clearance, I think last spring. Like I said, I always try to keep like all this random stuff lying around because you never know when you're going to need it. I know that might be like a hoarder type thing, but I assume it's just like a crafter type thing. Like you never know. You're always going to be able to use it. And I could definitely use this little wreath for a ton of different DIYs. So finally, I figured out what to do with it. And I just took apart all of the floral on it. And then now I am just hot gluing everything down. And I really thought that this fit perfect onto this when I started. And then after everything was painted, ripped apart, etc, etc, I realized that the M was too big to fit on here so of course me I was like are you kidding like I just did all this work and I don't have anything else that is like square and is going to fit so I did just end up using this and the M and the E are a tad bit off the edges and I think that's totally fine I still think it looks really really cute. And then I'm just using some of these little boxwood greenery. I grabbed these at Walmart and I have just a ton ripped apart because I do a, all tons of DIYs with these. So I always have just a little bit left over. Every single time I do a craft I feel like there's always just a little bit left over and then I just save it and I have like a box of this stuff. Uh, yeah and I'm just gluing it around the wreath. And when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder how come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights this next one is this rooster. I picked this up at Dollar General last year. I think it was 50 or 75% off. I'm pretty sure it was 50% off, so it was $2.50. And I love the way this looks, except I think the leaves are kind of like they look too fake for me. So I did rip those off, and then I did cut these stems down. And then all I'm going to do is just paint around it. I just wanted this to be white. So I you can't take the basket off. Like there's no way. You can't take the moss off. You can't take the basket off unless you really just want to destroy the whole entire thing and redo it. And that's definitely not what I wanted to do. So I just took my Waverly chalk paint in white and just painted the entire little rooster white. Rain always keep on pouring down when 
it's gray outside. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. And then for the bottom, I was just going to use black, but I decided to use this darker gray that I had. I just had a little bit left over from the home sign I just made. So I just thought, why not just use up the rest of this paint? No big deal. And I did do two coats of this because the white was still kind of wet. I just got kind of impatient. So I did just do two coats of that. And uh, yeah, I love the way this turned out. I think this is super, super cute. And I just used a little bit of paint to make a huge little makeover. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground? And this next DIY was probably the most expensive one that I've made in a long time. And you think that it'd be super cheap because you pick everything up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Well, this probably cost me over five bucks to make because I use four of the little square signs or decor pieces this love sign I am actually reusing this from a valentine DIY I just was not into valentines this year so I did one valentine video and I didn't even decorate so I just kind of tore a lot of stuff apart um, but I hope it gave you some kind of inspiration if you did watch that and then I just grabbed the Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm painting all of the frames white and I also decided to paint the letters white as well. Like the L and the V were really easy because they are already kind of white. So that just was super easy. I don't know why I went back and forth between these letters, but I did. I don't know if I just didn't feel like painting them. I don't know what it was, but yeah. So Waverly chalk paint in white for the letters. Shine like cold until winter comes. Until winter comes. Then I'm just using some scrapbook paper. This is from Hobby Lobby, four for a dollar. Always buy it when it's four for a buck. I don't know if it's always on sale or what, or it's 69 cents a piece. I don't know. But anyways, four for a dollar is what I paid. And then I am just going to be using these for the backs of all the squares. I actually ended up flipping the squares over because I did not want to have to take the paper off. And it feels like it just takes so long. I'm just using some Mod Podge and just Mod Podging these little guys right onto there. I just cut squares like I said and this is what I'm using as the background so everything is the same. Until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. And I'm just using some hot glue to put the backs back on to the frames. This is kind of tricky and I don't know why. Maybe it's not for everybody but maybe it's just me. You really have to push these backs down or they will not go in. Like this is me like struggling. And then you just really have to like push down. You feel like you're going to break these frames, but you don't, or at least I didn't. I can't say that it wouldn't happen to everybody, but uh, yeah, you just have to really just give it some muscle. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Once all the frames were together, I decided to take all four of them and hot glue them. So there was two on the bottom and two on the top. And yeah, that's all I used was hot glue. So I just glued all the edges and glued all the boxes together. Now I'm just taking my letters that I painted and I'm just hot gluing them right into the boxes. And here I go again with not uh, just assuming that all the letters are going to fit perfect in there. I didn't even take in consideration that the V was not going to fit, but I made it work. And then I just used a succulent for the O. I actually had this left over from last year and I love this one because it's big and it's like a lighter color. I think it's so pretty. And now I'm just taking the Waverly Wax in Antique and I'm just going to dry brush it all along the edges and the cracks and just everywhere on this for all these frames. Um, you can tell it's kind of messy and I guess when it looks like that you can just go back in with your white paint and go back over it and it looks like a whole new piece. So that is exactly what I did because I knew that my brush had too much paint on it for some reason or I just didn't, obviously I didn't get enough off is really what happened. Uh, but yeah, so I just went back in with my 
chalk paint in white and just painted back over this and it looks just fine after that. No big deal. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are? It really makes me wonder. This next one, I'm using these little mason jar signs. These were left over from fall, and I already painted one, and then I just never did anything with it. So I'm just going to do another coat of the Waverly Chalk Paint in White. It's what I used prior to this. I think I was going to do some sort of Christmas DIY. I never did. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I really just want to use up what I have because... One, it saved me a lot of money, and two, I already spent the money on this stuff anyway, so I might as well use it and not let it go to waste. And I just used my silhouette to print this out, and I am just going to put the transfer paper over the top and just, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, transfer it onto the sign, I guess that's what you want to call it. Yeah, I'm just going to transfer this right onto the sign. And I love when you peel the transfer tape off so you guys don't have a silhouette. I'm going to try to find something similar to this so you guys are able to do something similar like this. But this is like so satisfying is watching this transfer tape come off. I got nervous because I didn't want the paint to come off the sign and it didn't thankfully. But I think this is so stinking cute. And I always forget how much I love the farm animal theme. I don't know. I just feel like I haven't done anything like this in a long time. And I felt so good to do this. And then here's more of this like boxwood greenery from Walmart. You can pick this up in a bundle for 97 cents. Granted, I have not seen it in a while. Maybe it'll be back because it's like the springtime now, but who knows? And then I also just had some extra flowers left over from the Dollar Tree. I think it's a Queen Anne's lace is what it was. I seriously just had like a couple pieces laying around and I thought it'd be really cute for the center. But my camera died to so see you did not see me attach those, but it really wasn't a big deal. There you go. Like that wasn't, you know, you didn't really have to see me attach the flowers if you wanted to. Well, my battery died. I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, I just put hot glue on them. So there you go. I love the way this turned out. I think this is so, so cute. Wanted. Thought that we could work it out, but it's no use. I think I'm better off alone. This last DIY just almost just brought me back to my original newish YouTube days. I loved using moss and succulents for almost everything. I picked up this wreath from a garage sale. It was a dollar, but you can grab these at the Dollar Tree as well. I love this moss from the Dollar Tree this year. It's like new. It kind of has like some crunchy, crunched up pine cones in it, like some of this white moss. Love the way it looks and I'm just taking hot glue and putting the moss all the way around and I only used one bag of this moss. I didn't cover the entire wreath, I just kind of covered the top but that's exactly what I wanted because I was using this like grapevine wreath so I think it looked good with the little vines sticking out of the sides. And then I just decided to take some succulents. I've had succulents for years. I've torn apart DIYs. You can't say they haven't torn apart DIYs. I know that might sound terrible but... You think if you went back on all my videos, I probably have done over like 300 or more DIYs, like which that sounds insane, but could you imagine having 300 crafts in your house? Like that blows my mind to think of like how much stuff we do on YouTube. It's crazy. So I don't know if you, if you don't YouTube, you do watch so you know how much we put into stuff like this, like how much work and how much money and how much time and then to tear something apart is like almost like killing me. But at the same time, like, it's really exciting to do new crafts for you guys. So, yeah, uh, there's my little spiel for the day, I guess. I don't know, but that's it, you guys, for the video. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, 
make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this farmhouse DIY Dollar Tree Dollar General decor. All right, you guys. I'll see you next video. Bye. Yeah, I'm feeling good without you. Now I don't want nothing to do with you. I tried to be perfect and keep you happy all the time. But I didn't know that you wanted somebody else. Now I don't want nothing to do with you.